the National Testing Agency, the NTA, has issued guidelines and SOPs for the impending uh, joint entrance exams as well as the NEET exams. Now, let me just bring you up to speed with uh, the main points. A detailed set of instructions for social distancing will be given on every candidate's admit card. All the registered candidates will have to go through a thermal screening at the entry and those whose uh, temperature is above normal will be isolated and will have to give the exam in a separate room. Every student is asked to self-declare that they do not suffer from COVID-19 or have any coronavirus-like symptoms. Each student will have to wear a mask on the face, gloves on their hand and carry a personal transparent water bottle and a personal small hand sanitizer to the examination centre. There will be no water dispensers at the exam centre. Students will uh, be allowed to, to proceed further from registration only if their temperature is within the normal permissible limits. All students will be given uh, a reporting time slot. The staggering of time slots will be done to ensure uniform distribution of candidates across rooms during entry and exit. Candidates will uh, be required to maintain six feet of social distance. They'll also have to sanitize their hands with soap before entry. And once they've entered, they'll be asked to throw the old mask and will have to wear new three ply masks that is given at the examination center. Now, while of course there have been uh, detailed guidelines that have in fact been issued, there is also a fair bit of uh, opposition that has come in not just from student bodies around the length and breadth of the country but also from political quarters. The Urissa Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik uh, has written to the Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal demanding postponement of the NEET 2020 and the JEE main exams. Um, the undergraduate exams, remember, are scheduled uh, to take place in September, the JEE, as soon as uh, between 1st and 6th of September and the NEET on the 13th of September. Now, Greta Thunberg has, in fact, tweeted about it, calling it deeply unfair that students of India have been asked to uh, sit for these exams during the time of a pandemic and also at a time when they've been impacted by extreme floods. My colleague Saurabh Shukla has been tracking the details of the story. Uh, and is in fact joining us with all the updates. States are also writing to Central Education Ministry to postpone uh, NEET and JE exams. In fact, today Naveen Patnayak also uh, he has written a letter to Education Minister Ramesh Pokhariyal Nishank to uh, uh, requesting to postpone NEET and JE exams. Before that, Mamta Banerjee, Uddhav Thakur, there are other chief ministers who have already written uh, to Education Minister Ramesh Pokhariyal Nishank to postpone NEET and JE exams. In fact, now. A national testing agency who is going to conduct, the agency is going to conduct these examinations. They have come out uh, with a detailed guideline. And in this guide, these guidelines, there are a few important pointers uh, I would like to tell. Uh, the first point that they have given in ad admit card, in that admit card, there will be hyperlink of uh, the map of the examination center. So, students can easily read by navigating uh, that hyperlink. And apart from that, uh, they'll be, they have given a detailed instructions of social distancing. In admit card, uh, they have to maintain six feet distance and uh, there will be thermal scanning before entering uh, examination center. In fact, if uh, the temperature is above 99.4 degree, then students will not be allowed to enter examination center. Uh, they, they have uh, arranged a separate isolation room for those students who have uh, temperature above 99.4 uh, 90, 90 degree Celsius. Apart from that, students have to give self-declaration that recently they were uh, they were not corona uh, covid positive they were not in touch with uh, uh, some corona positive patient and apart from that uh, but more important point uh, the, the, uh, gloves on face mask will be given by uh, nta will be given by education ministry and that face mask will be three ply face mask apart from that will be providing gloves as well students uh, have been asked to carry their own transparent transparent uh, water bottles there will be no water dispenser in the examination center. So these are a few important uh, points and guidelines for students. In fact, according to NTA, they have given uh, examination centers the, 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 the were option, uh, the, the, there was an option to students to choose their own examination center. So they have given uh, uh, examination center of their own choice. More than 90% of uh, students who are going to appear for uh, the exam, they have got uh, examination ex examination center of their own choice. But apart from that, uh, Ankita, one important point I would like to outline. I just got a call from a student from Alpar. He is saying that uh, self-declaration form they have to fill. But he is staying in a containment zone. His grandmother is tested COVID positive. So in that case, according to these SOPs, he will not be able to uh, appear for examinations. 
All right, and uh, remember, Mamata Banerjee has also appealed to the Prime Minister to reconsider the decision to conduct these examinations at this point. My colleague Moni Deepa caught up with students from West Bengal, and this is what they had to say. Behind me, two students who, like thousands of others, had been preparing for two years to take the NEET and become doctors. But right now, uncertainty is all that they are facing. Will you take the exams if they are held in September? Uh, we've been honestly looking forward to this day and preparing for the last two and a half years. Though we really want to give the exam and we are waiting for the outcome and see what we go ahead and do in our lives. But looking at the current scenario around us, it's not really conducive. And to say, seeing the past few days, the exams like the Karnataka KCET and the Gujarat CET, it's not really supporting our cause and not giving the assurance and the confidence that we can safely give the exam and come back. But there is a question of losing perhaps a whole year in their academic lives. What about that? Ma'am, I think if the exams are postponed just by a few weeks, uh, the government could make a plans to ensure that we don't waste another year. Maybe the syllabus is reduced a bit, but I think there's a way to go about it which doesn't require us to waste a whole year. Is that a factor that all your family had COVID, you had COVID, you survived and now an exam? Uh, honestly speaking, what I've been through, it's really not that, not that tough, I would say, or easy. I don't want anyone else for no reason just to go through it, just risking themselves. Check the past exams which have been conducted. They had solid SOPs. Many of the examinations, they had thermal screen, screening. But when we see the visuals, it's not really supporting our cause. We see crowding, students coming out, parents going in, and they are just crowded out. Will you take the exam if it is ultimately held? Ma'am, with the situation the way it is, I would not feel comfortable doing so, but because of the pressure that we have, I think we might just have to sit for the examinations, all of what us. What about you? As he mentioned, that we'll probably not want to from within, but we'll be literally dragged to the examination because there's no way out. This is the only way we have. If they have exams, these students will go willy-nilly. There may be thousands of others who will not be able to make it to the exam centre because of flooding or simply lack of transport. The pressure is growing. Even Greta Thunberg has come and joined the cause of the students and called for the exams to be put off. In Kolkata with Jidi Shankar, Monidipa Banerjee, NDTV.